everybody this is alessandro welcome back to my channel today i want to show you how to create a reverse spine rig to animate your character when basically is in in this position where your character is hanging right you don't want to have the classic setup where uh, you know is the cog up here that kind of drive the motion upwards right and the reason is very simple i'll try to explain the best way i can so let's assume those are the four controllers for the spine joint right normally this is the cog right and moves everything up right so in fact if you select all of them they are kind of rotating like this and this is okay if 90 percent of the time when your character is on the ground or stuff like that but when your character is hanging like this and it's kind of moving now the force is coming from this point and so you can't you kind of want to have the spine that is acting in reverse so you want to have the uh the parents here on the top and moving at the bottom right so it's going to be a lot easier to do all the overlapping all those little things in your spine and uh, you know animate things properly right you can clean up the arc from the top right here right and then do the bottom and so on so in order to do this one guys you're going to create on the rigging panel here create a locator move the locator whatever you want make sure your locator is visible all right you can scale it make it bigger all right and you're gonna create as many locator as the spine controllers so one two three and then four here all right so you're gonna create one of these two three and four but as we mentioned the uh, the hierarchy needs to be the opposite so you're gonna select this one then select the second one and press the P button or just go in here and, and create parent, right? Then you're gonna select this one and, create, and go here, press P again, and then you're gonna do the same here, right? So now you have this the hierarchy as we talk just right now. By the way, guys, before you apply this technique, what I want you to understand, and normally what I will do, the first part where it is okay for you to have the correct setup for the spine i want you to fully polish uh this section here obviously guys this is a shot from one of my students so it's still work in progress it's still in blocking stage but normally before you apply this technique very important fully polish the part where you don't need this one right so you're only gonna work on the second part here where the character is hanging right so what we're gonna do right now, we need to transfer the animation from the spine to those locator and make sure also the position is exactly the same. In order to do that, we're gonna create here, select on the controller, then on the locator, we're gonna go constrain, parent, make sure here it's, it's this one is off and you translate all, rotation all, and then you're gonna apply. And as you can see, the locator is gonna snap immediately on the position of the controller you press the s key i want to make sure the blend parent is set to one now you're going to do the same with this one and the second controller we're going to do here parent again i want to make sure that this one is set to one and you're going to repeat the process with this one here By the way, guys, one of the things you want to make sure before you parent constrain one object to another, you want to make sure this locator has the same orientation order of this one, okay? In fact, you notice that this one here has a Y, Z, X, and this one doesn't. Uh, um, so we just we need to make sure we have the same before we plot the animation. So guys, if you've done this correctly, you're going to notice that those four locators right now they are following exactly the animation done by your character, all right? So now the next things you wanna do is plot the animation. So to make sure we're gonna get rid of the constraint and plot the animation to those locator. In order to do that, you select the four locator, go here on key, make sure you're on animation, guys, go on key, and bake simulation, right? Again, double check that the position always works and everything, right? Now you're gonna go in Windows Outliner, all right? The four locator here will have the constraint. And so now that you bake the animation, you can just let the constraint and delete them. Always make sure, guys, when you do each step to make sure that nothing gets lost and there is not weird movement in the locator and stuff like that. Now, what I would suggest you to do in order to make things easy 
is to, because now you have a key every frame, but maybe when you did your polish and stuff like that, you don't have that. So for example, if you select the COG or the spine, right, you see you have a very clean timeline. So you can go back and select the locator and delete some of the unnecessary key, like here, right? To make sure you have the same number of key. And I will leave it up to you to do the entire process if you want for the entire animation, depending how long it is, all right? So as you can see, guys, I removed some of the unnecessary key because it's gonna be easier later to animate, right? Once you've done all this, again, go in the graph editor here and make sure you go on the Euro filter and clean up any mess you might have, right? Sometimes the problem might happen. Now that this is done and the locator of the same animation of your character and the hierarchy as we talk about is the opposite, what we need to do right now is to make sure that we constrain the controller to the locator. Always remember to go on frame one, select the locator first, then the controller, then here, parent, okay? And make sure this one has blend parent to one. Now we select here, here, constrain, parent, okay? If you've done everything correctly, guys, the animation is gonna be exactly the same. So for the first part that you, we just said before, you should have already polished, you don't need to do anything because the animation will be exactly the same. In fact, for this part, you could have kept the big frame by frame. If you're confident about your animation, you fully polish it, nothing should change. But on the second part, where right now we are going here, now you can use the locator to animate because the keys are the same and you can move the locator here. This one is happening by the way because this one should have been in master. Um, and in this case, yes, yeah, this one if you put it on COG will have a weird effect, right? So this will be better to keep it on, uh, on master, right? Uh, so it doesn't follow so, so much the COG. But as I'm talking about now like this, you have the reverse controller, right? And you can animate it like this. You see the pivot right now, it's up here, right? You can do it here. If you wanna have another one here, you could have put another locator, uh, sorry, another locator uh, higher. Same stuff here, you can do this one, and this one here as well in case you want. You can translate, okay? So it's gonna be a lot easier to do the overlapping, clean up the arc and stuff like that, okay guys? Once you finish the animation, again, once you finish the animation and you're happy you polish and everything, you can just select those controller, bake the animation, you know, um, kill the constraint and remove the locator. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little trick and see you next time.